historical societies capture our imagination as pirates do. The talking parrots, rum, cloaks, hats, and treasure hunts make dramatic theatrical tales. Historically, all women appear to have been relegated to mere short paragraphs and footnotes sprinkled across books describing the exploits of male pirates. However, studies indicate that female pirates existed and were as notorious as male pirates were. Join us in this Liberty episode as we travel back to the days when female pirates traversed the high seas in pursuit of freedom, fortune, and adventure. One of the most notorious raiders in history commenced her career in a Chinese brothel. The former Cantonese prostitute Chang the First Sao was married to Chang the First, a famous and powerful corsair. After their marriage in 1801, the pair created one of China's most dreadful pirate armies. Their outfit boasted over 60,000 men and a fleet of ships, which preyed on southern China's supply junks, fishing vessels, and coastal towns with impunity. Upon the demise of Mr. Chang in 1807, Mrs. Chang collaborated with her lover and trusted Lieutenant Pao Chang. During their partnership, they raided Southeast Asia and assembled a fleet that could rival many states. Chang Sao was a no-nonsense woman. She installed a strict code of conduct for her gang. For instance, rape of female prisoners attracted a death sentence, while insiders had their tongues cut off. She ran a tight ship. Chang Sao's reign of terror made her China's number one public enemy. Consequently, the Chinese government contracted the Portuguese and British navies to bring her to justice. This did nothing to deter her from engaging in dubious exploits. After months of trying to escape authorities, she agreed to lay her cutlass down and surrender her fleet rather than flee to the high seas. However, this was not out of the kindness of her heart. The agreement allowed her the right to retain her ill-gotten riches. After her retirement, she went on to run a successful gambling business until she died in 1844. Anne Bonney was the illegitimate daughter of an Irish lawyer. Her parents made her dress like a boy to conceal her dubious parentage. Her father also employed her as a clerk in his law firm for some time. In 1718, she moved to America and married a sailor. The two established their marital home on the pirate-infested island of the Bahamas. However, their marriage did not last long. In the Bahamas, Anne Boney fell for the charms of Jack Rackham, Calico, and fled her marital home. Jack Rackham was a gaudy buccaneer and womanizer who conducted his trade in the region. Upon joining Calico's crew, she soon demonstrated her ability to wield cutlass and pistols, curse and imbibe rum equal to the vilest men in the crew. In the course of plying her trade, she formed a close friendship with a fellow female pirate called Mary Reed. Later, the two would play critical roles in raids around the Caribbean in 1720. Her career in piracy came to an abrupt end when pirate hunters captured Calico's ship. Calico and his men were hanged, but Mary Reed and Anne Boney escaped execution as they were heavy with children. Rachel Wall's legacy is peppered with legends and myths. However, historians conjecture that she was the first and only American female pirate. Rachel was born in Pennsylvania. She ran away from home as a teenager and married George Wall, an angler. The couple moved to Boston, but they were plagued with financial problems. This state of matters caused them to turn to crime for sustenance. In 1781, the couple procured a small boat and enlisted other low-life mariners to raid ships on the coast of New England. The couple came up with a brilliant but evil technique to rob ships. After a storm, the pirates would make their ship appear as if the storm had ravaged it. Rachel, exploiting her female guiles, would stand on the boat's deck and plead to passing ships for help. Those unlucky enough to respond to her cries were quickly boarded, robbed, and killed. Her siren song lured many ships to their doom, but in 1782, her luck ran out 
as a real storm ravaged her boat and killed George. Rachel continued her robberies on land. In 1789, she was arrested for robbing a woman. In prison, she penned an emotional confession detailing her sins, including disobeying her parents, breaking the Sabbath, lying, and stealing. However, she did not confess to murdering. Unfortunately, her mea culpa was not convincing enough. She was hanged in Massachusetts on October 8, 1789. Mary Reed was born in the late 17th century. She spent most of her childhood dressed as a boy so that her mother could con her deceased brother's grandmother. Since childhood, Mary had ambitions of traveling the seas to satiate her adventurous spirit. In her teens, she took up the name Mark Reed to enable her to be accepted in traditionally male professions. At first, she worked as a sailor. After a few years, she left the military and became a merchant sailor. She became a pirate in the 1710s when pirates attacked her ship and impressed her into their trade. Later, she worked aboard Jack Rackham's ship, revealing herself as female to Jack's wife, Anne Bonny. Mary had a fearsome reputation. One of her most ferocious battles was against pirate hunters in 1720 aboard Calico's ship, where she was captured. Shortly after, she succumbed to fever in a prison cell. Thank you for listening to this episode. We hope you have enjoyed and learned something new. Like, share, and subscribe to Liberty for more.